In this video we're going to be looking at how to make a model of a Stone Age house based on discoveries from Star Car. Star Car is a Stone Age archaeological site in North Yorkshire. It is very important and is world famous among archaeologists. The oldest house ever found in Britain was discovered at Star Car. We know there were houses at Star Car as archaeologists have found evidence of holes in the ground made by posts used to hold up the small buildings. It is believed that a structure of posts based in these holes could have been covered with woven reeds gathered from next to a lake nearby. The model we are going to make is based on a reconstruction carried out at the York Experimental Archaeology Research Centre. It is important to remember that families in the Stone Age would not have had their own separate rooms inside these structures and that several generations would have been likely to live together under the same roof. There was no evidence of furniture inside. To make our model easier to construct in miniature, we will be spacing our poles at regular intervals, although this was not the case with Stone Age houses. And now, on to making the model. So for this you will need two sheets of cardboard, some masking tape, PVA glue, some brown tissue paper, raffia, brown paint, and eight 30 centimeter garden sticks or dowels, as well as scissors, a pencil, a ruler, a glue stick and some paint brushes. So here's where we begin. We're going to start by taking one of our sticks and marking the center of it. Now if it's a 30 centimeter stick, we obviously know that's going to be at the 15 centimeter mark. Just use your ruler to get this as accurate as you can. Just make a little mark with your pencil. Now if you find it's a little difficult to see, just use some masking tape just to make sure you can see the centre there. So I'm just going to put a little tab of masking tape over that mark and then just mark it again with a pencil just so I don't lose where it is in a minute or two. There we go. Now we're going to place a mark in the very centre of this large piece of cardboard. We'll mark it with a cross, just to make sure it's nice and clear. And then we're going to place the centre of our stick where we've marked, just on that cross mark there, so we know that the two of them are meeting up. This is going to be our guide for the base of the house. So using the stick as a guide, I'm going to draw a line along it there, and I'm going to place a little cross at the end of the sticks. And I'm going to turn the stick 90 degrees and I'm going to make a cross like so. I'm going to draw along there and then mark a cross at each end of the stick. Just like this. Again, make sure those crosses are nice and clear at the ends of the stick. Then I'm going to turn it another 45 degrees. Mark it again. So I'm turning the stick. I'm going to do this another couple of times just until I have an eight pointed star. Now in our case we're making these regular distances between the posts. This wouldn't have been the case at Star Car. But for our purposes we're going to keep the distance between the points the same just so that we can make the build a little bit easy for you. As an option you could use a protractor to make 45 degree angles. Just get rid of that piece of tape now, I've used it up. So I'm just going back over those little crosses on the edges there just to make sure I can see exactly where they are. Now you should have a series of marks that look like this. Now using our pencil we're carefully going to make a hole through each of these outer crosses. Just be careful of your fingers there, take your time, give it a little twist if it's not going through easily. And 
work your way around gradually until all of those eight outer crosses have got a hole in them. You don't need to do the centre one. Now we're going to make a rough circle inside the holes like this. You can come inside it by a, year, a centimetre or two. This is just a bit of a guide for decoration. Now we're going to cover this inner circle with some PVA and brown tissue. Try not to cover the holes though. We're doing this now because once we've built the frame it will be difficult to uh, get our hands inside there to decorate afterwards. So we'll just tear that into uh, manageable size pieces. And then we'll get some PVA and we'll just layer this inside the circle. Now top tip, try and keep the dry tissue away from the glue until you need it. You'll notice here that I use one hand with the brush and the glue and the other hand I keep dry for moving the tissue around. This way I don't end up in a sticky old mess. So I'm going to give it a bit of a scrunch just for some texture and then I'm going to dab it down with the brush. Nice and gently like so. Take your time, try and work in small pieces just to keep things tidy rather than using one big piece which might end up in a bit of a mess. Now, let's tape together two sticks to start building our frame on top of this. So I'm going to use a bit of masking tape. I'm going to tear it, but you could use your scissors if you find that's easier. And with one of my sticks here, I'm going to place the tape on the end. But make sure that half of that tape is sticking out over the edge. Just give that a little bit of a squeeze, but I can still see the end of the stick there. That's important, because I'm going to join the second stick to it to make a corner. I'm going to squeeze this tape once I've wrapped it over just to ensure it's nice and secure. Now add more tape if you feel you need to. Always best to make sure it's nice and secure at this point. And then we'll be doing this several times to build the frame of the house as a whole. So once you've got those secured together, we're now going to add this frame to the holes around the edges and stick with tape like this. So I'm going to put it in the two opposite holes. And I'm going to put one piece of tape going out lengthways and another one going sideways, just like so. I'll do that on both sides so it ends up looking like this on opposite sides of the circle. And then we're going to work our way around one stick at a time. Stick it at the base and then stick it to the top of the structure. Again, take your time with this. Best to be nice and accurate. If you're working in a group, you could take it in turns to add pieces to the structure. And once you've got all eight sticks, that's the frame done. Now we need to create a slight hollow inside the house, so we're going to raise the ground level outside on our model by using some cardboard. I'm just going to cut this up into smaller pieces. I'm going to start with triangles just because I'm going to be going around the edges of the board. So I'm going to build those up a few at a time just to create some layers. And I'm going to use a combination of PVA and sticky tape just to secure those. Now you could also use, if you wanted to, some scrunched up tissue paper, possibly some spare from when you uh, were decorating earlier, just to add a bit more shape. Just give it a scrunch and then use some PVA just to stick that down in between the other shapes. And you can add as many or as few of these as you like. I'm going to do a few just around the whole uh, structure. And then it's time to cover the whole of the baseboard, just using smaller pieces of tissue again. Any gaps between the tissue and the cardboard, we're going to cover with the brown tissue now. 
just to create a very earthy texture. And again, if you scrunch a little bit as you're going along, that will give it even more texture as you uh, as you apply it. could paint the sticks brown to uh, resemble tree limbs as well. Now if you place this to one side to dry, we'll move on to the next step of the build. Now this is an optional step if you want to. Using raffia, we're going to tie that around one of the sticks and I'm going to weave this around the sticks to create a circle. Now it's believed on the houses at Star Car that they were made by weaving reeds and other plant fibres together. We're not going to expect you to do this for the whole model because that would be very fiddly on something this small. So I'll create one circle there. Now on the lower one I'm going to create a little bit of a hole. I'm going to leave one gap empty there because we will need to add a doorway for people to get in and out of it. And I'm going to do a smaller one just on the top. Now if you wanted to make a partially built house, this model would be complete at this stage here. But we're going to do the outer surface as well. So for the outer surface I'm going to check the measurements of our triangles just using my ruler again. So it's about 12 centimeters wide, just over 30 centimeters tall. And I'm going to mark out a triangle in cardboard which is large enough to cover that particular section. So 12 centimetres across. I'm just going to mark in the centre there as well so I know where the centre of my triangle is going to be. And I'm just going to mark out one triangle to begin with. And I'm going to cut that out and test it against the frame just to ensure it fits properly. Now we're using cardboard with things stuck on here but as I say on the original structures it's believed that they were created using woven plant fibres. But for our model this will work just the air block, that fits just fine. So I'm going to use this as a template because we need to make eight triangles in total. Now on one of them I'm going to go about halfway up, create a curve, and just cut that out to create a door in one of the sections. Like so. So you should have seven triangles and one slightly shorter one for the door section. Now some more of that raffia, I'm going to sort this into a, a bundle here and I'm going to cut it into lengths of approximately 10 to 15 centimetres or as a quick cheat you could use the width of the base of your triangle. Now you're going to need quite a few of these so just be patient, take your time. And then using a glue stick we're going to add layers of raffia to these triangles to create that woven outer structure. Start at the base and then work your way upwards one layer at a time. Now, if you're working in a group this is a good opportunity for everybody to work on a different triangle at the same time. And we are using glue stick here. Try not to do this with PVA or you will end up in a bit of a mess. So one layer then the next layer goes on slightly overlapping and then a final layer towards the top. Now you need to cover every one of the triangles and the doorway sections with the raffia. And then once we've got that done I'm going to turn it over and we're going to stick the sections together on the reverse side with masking tape. So there's two together, I'll just find a third. nice big bit of tape just to make sure that's going to stay secure. I use a couple of pieces of tape on each section because these are going to hinge together in a short while so they will take a little bit of strain. So 
that's three, you can see from the curve that we're starting to form the shape of a cone, which is just what we want. So we'll now add the other sections. Once you've got all eight stuck together, I'm going to close this gap. We might need two pairs of hands for this section. Just using some more tape there to complete the cone with the door, obviously in one side. And this will make the outer surface of your house model. So what we'll do, we'll go back to our frame. We'll carefully place that over the stick frame that we made earlier on. And that will give it lots of strength. And it should sit there nice and securely, just a little bit of tweaking around the edges. Then we'll trim the raffia around the door just to tidy it up a little bit. And there, your model is complete.